That's right. Great people always seem to be famous one day. Nick Dutch coming straight back to you with more ramblings from the depths of my mind. Now, people come to me and they say things like, you don't believe that stuff, do you? Um, which is crazy, because within the New Age world, within the religious world, within the supernatural world, we're caught between a number of different perspectives. We've got the, the popular media ideas which are presented to us uh, through popular style books, um, the newspapers, magazines, certain popular TV shows. And they express very simple ideas as to what is real or what is supposed to be real. Somewhat akin to um, a childhood fairy tale, you might say. And then on the other hand, we've got much more complex, intellectually challenging ideas, which are when one is trying to find out what is real or what is true, without necessarily having to suddenly jump to a conclusion and jump to a particular belief, despite the fact we, want, we, we might be being encouraged to jump to beliefs by certain individuals or certain different um, denominations, sects, and organizations. It is possible that the most popular movements within the New Age world, or so certain most popular aspects, or the most popular media images of various movements within the New Age movement, are in fact gross simplifications to the point of being akin to, or similar to, or in fact completely childish. Or childhood stories, for instance. And when someone approaches me and says, you don't really believe that, do you? I would have to turn around and say, no. I do not believe a childish or childhood style gross misrepresentation and misinterpretation of all the things that I do and all the activities that I participate in. And I certainly do not believe the um, great sim simplifications which are present within the popular media. My activities when I'm doing or trying to do allegedly supernatural things uh, for my own benefit and my own experimentation are there for me to try and come closer to trying to find out what is true, what is real, what is most likely to be real without needing to have to jump to any particular beliefs. And I always uh, maintain a bit of a skeptical mind because it's, it's strange, I know, I'm a professional tarot reader, but I'm also a bit of a skeptic. Because when someone approaches me with uh, an idea or a belief structure which is straight from the popular media, I would be skeptical. And I think that's probably um, a beneficial or useful way of uh, seeing the world. 